When looking to buy game keys, there's like two primary sites. One of them is Kingwin and one of them is G2A. Now, since I've started this series, I really haven't used G2A for much of anything. So today I'm gonna be buying some of the random Steam keys that they have on their site. There are actually like regular keys on here, but I'm really interested to see what the process is with these more sketchy ones. So we're gonna use these instead. So our total for today is gonna be $6.78 and that's gonna give us four games to try out. And I, I, like I said, I'm curious as to the difference between the regular and the premium. So I'm all checked out now. But the issue that I'm looking at here is that these aren't actually Steam keys. These are like random G2A keys, which means that there's probably an extra step to this. And I don't really want to bother with it, to be completely honest with you. After looking around for a few minutes, I found that there's actually like six other steps to redeeming these keys. Uh, apparently, because these are through this other website, Game Odds, the keys I have actually have to be redeemed on this site. So I had to sign in with Steam on this random other site just to redeem these codes, bro. This is fantastic. It's not bad enough that I'm probably buying these keys from some random kid in Russia but uh, I, I also have to go through like five websites just to get these games what is this wait what it looks like the keys that I bought this is like a case now so the keys that I bought on G2A were for this other website where I had to go and redeem them and now instead of just giving me the games I have to open it like a case this doesn't make any sense try my luck it says try my luck I guess this is this is an interesting twist man it's an interesting twist on what we were doing Congratulations, you've won Global Ops Commando Libya. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can sell it on the market though, that's kind of cool. This is like a gambling site in and of itself, I guess, this game odd site. This site reminds me a lot of something. What is it that I'm thinking? Oh my- Man, this is the point in the video where I had like a really nice sponsored segment. Like it was it was really, really nice. It was really well made. Like your boy was trying to sell out a little bit. You know, I, I got myself a $300 Supreme step ladder. Like it was a great time. But the uh, the sponsors didn't get back to me, so I had to cut this part out. I'm sorry. I know you're all probably really disappointed, and uh, I will make it up to you in the future with with a ton more advertisements from sponsors. Uh, it, it, it'll be great. It'll be absolutely fantastic. Anyways, have have fun in this video. Let's get it off, baby. Let's get it going with this second key right now. I'm about to get this red. I don't know why this whole video is like gambling based. We, that's actually a game though. That is actually. A real game, Dirt 3, man. I, that's actually a game I might play. So I'm pretty sure that these two, like this Global Ops and this Dirt 3, I'm pretty sure that these were actually the basic Steam keys that I had. And Dirt 3 is actually a $30 game. So it looks like I pulled a good a good draw. Realistically, this works the same as the other random Steam keys. Like it'll just pull from a database. Uh, this one is much more visually appealing though. I actually, like now that I've seen this site, I ended up bookmarking it. I may check this out for a future video. Would you guys like to see that? Because this is nice. Like, I don't know how I still like, it completely separated from CSGO managed to make a full gambling video today, but I this, this, this is what we're doing out here. Give me a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. That's what I want. Nope, instead we got Crab Dub. That looks, that looks fun. That looks, at least, at least there's a heart. This is the final game. This is the one that changes everything. This game is the difference between this video going really, really well and this video being a complete and utter failure. I'm gonna spin this, and I'm gonna hope and pray that we don't get fucking Gunspell Steam Edition. God damn it! How is this game thir- how is this game $13? How are you gonna tell me that this is $12.99 right now? Ladies and gentlemen, I am coming at you now with this breaking news! We got absolutely fucking finessed out here, okay? What is, what is Crab Dub? Is that the snail from SpongeBob? What is this man? I'm gonna be checking this out. I'm gonna be going just in order of the games. I completely lost control of my mouse. What is ha what is going on? Crab Dub is malware. Oh I don't know what this game is, but I can't make it full screen. Like it will not it will not let me make it full screen. So we're gonna have to play with it like this. I was thinking it was gonna be a fish game, but now there's some computer and a, a, a taco that's jumping up and down I don't know this is a this is a platformer and I, I have a gun apparently and I do, I have a pacifier <laughs> what the fuck I figured out how to make it full screen baby let's go oh wait do I just have to shoot this stuff so I think this is like a puzzle platformer of sorts but I'm not really sure where the where the puzzle ends and the game's well i don't know what's going on the game comes in at 2.99 and honestly for that price it's probably worth it it's a pretty good time wasting game and honestly from the screenshots it looks like it does get pretty progressive and it may have an actual storyline i have no idea these kind of games aren't really for me but it has a cute art style and if this is something that you think might be interesting it's definitely worth picking up global ops commando libya another game known for its horrible aspect ratio what is going on today with this man i can't tell if this game is really old or just really low budget so we're gonna have to wait and hear the voice acting that's usually a 
pretty good tell. We don't need too much attention from the guys around here. We'll shoot only if it's necessary. I think it's... The voice acting doesn't seem that bad. I, I think this game is just really old. The game is third person like Gears of War, but handles like a Call of Duty game. I don't know that I like this. Also, the AI is just incredibly stupid. Like, I can just walk right out. Like, you, you would start shooting at me. Even when you get damaged, like, you get this little red skull appearing over your screen, like in Gears of War. But it, this is definitely not a Gears game by a long shot. There's also no differentiating characteristics with the models of these characters. So, I can't use characters twice like that in the same sentence. Another thing I don't like about this game is that every player model has like the same outfit on like literally the same exact outfit so i'm not sure if i'm just a dude going awol or if we all just happen to shop at the same surplus store like i don't know it just doesn't doesn't sit right with me man i feel like i'm killing my brothers in arms the game is very linear and i feel like honestly you don't really take much damage like i can run right up to a guy with him shooting me and just blast him in the chest and nothing happens at all i think mechanic wise some of the stuff is like dynamic and it breaks which is a really big step for a game that came out as long ago as this game did. For a game that came out in 2006, the graphics really aren't that bad, and mechanically, it's pretty sound. With that said, I am absolutely 100% joking. This game came out in 2011, okay? For a game that came out in 2011, these graphics are quite dated. Mechanically, how this game interacts is just absolutely awful. Halfway through my time playing the game, it got to a point where my mouse was way off the screen, even when the game was maximized, so regardless of where I clicked, it just minimized the game. I think this may be due to the fact that I have multiple monitors on my computer, and it just kind of glitched out with the uh, the tracking of each monitor. But nonetheless, it, it made for a really, really bad game experience, and unless you hate yourself, you probably shouldn't buy this game. It's time for this wonderful, wonderful hunk of treasure. Gunspell Steam Edition. I'm excited for this one, actually. Like, this one's either gonna be pretty decent or it's gonna be horrible, and just, just by this. Just, just by this home screen, I can tell this is gonna be an experience. Oh my god, it's a fucking gem game. To attack, you should collect lines of skulls. Why is skulls spelt with a C? Did somebody copyright the word skeleton? Like, are you fine? What? This is a turn-based gem game, my guy. I don't think you guys understand how long I've been waiting for something like this. This is incredible. I just killed Kobold in like two hits, bro. John D, you are the best. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a whole story with this, and it said in the description of the game that it was an RPG, which I'm guessing is from these quests, but it's literally just a gem game. I don't, like, this doesn't make any sense, dog. To be completely honest, I don't mind turn-based strategy games. I don't mind RPGs. And I don't even mind gem games, but they aren't games that belong together. There's a fucking meditate button in this game, dude. Is this a rhythm game? What the fuck is happening? Oh god, it gets hard. It gets, why does it get so hard? This game is mechanically sound, and I honestly feel like after playing it for a few minutes, I, I really don't mind it. Like, I should. I really should mind it, and this really should be a game that I'm totally against. But I honestly, it has an odd charm about it. Like, I don't give a shit about the story, but just the gameplay in general, just... It just has an odd charm. This game is so niche, I'm not gonna recommend it to anybody just because of the price point, but if you have an extra $15 and it is something that you're trying to play, like, be my guess. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a game that I come back to over and over again, but I may be able to get an hour or two out of fun out of this. So, you know, d do with that what you will. Final game that we got is Dirt 3. Now, Dirt 3 is actually a good game. Like, I've, I've played this game before. I, I dig these kind of games. This isn't the newest Dirt game in the series, but it is a pretty recent one. So the fact that I got this for only a couple dollars is not that bad. I am pretty sure, however, that this game was free on Xbox a few years ago, though, so I, I don't think I'm really doing super, super well, but, you know, it's not the worst thing to ever happen to me in my entire life. Dirt 3 is a racing game that's predominantly centered around rally cars. Now, if you're really into rally cars like I am and you watch NASCAR every week, this is the game for you. You are gonna love this. The game is mechanically sound. It's the third, like, flagship title in the series. There are a few, like, sub-games and stuff, too. This is a very successful franchise. It's AAA. Like, it's, there's not not really anything to critique here and this was a game that just came out and you guys were actually looking to buy this i would give honest criticisms but i feel like with the age of this game i don't think it's really my place to say whether or not this is a good or bad game i wouldn't say it's the best racing game i've ever played but it's it, it's certainly not horrible if i had to rate it on a scale i'd probably give it four stobarts out of five you guys i am hosting a giveaway right now i figured i might as well mention it because it is going on it's going to be a 250 dollars bitcoin giveaway there's going to be 100 winners if you guys want to enter this feel free the twitter link will be in the description all you got to do is retweet and then it's it's a gleam so just and literally just follow me and then follow the other people like that's it that's all i gotta do because there's so many spots to win you'll probably win something it's you know it's it's a great time just check it out for me okay with that said guys thanks for coming to my ted talk and i will see you in the next video six months from now and goodbye